بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد What's the commonality between the da'wah of Ahl al-Sunnati wa jamaah the Salafis the minhaj al-Salafiyya da'wah to Salafiyya the methodology of the Salaf of this Ummah the pious predecessors rahimahullah ta'ala wa radiyallahu ta'ala'anhum ajma'een ala sahaba ta rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam what's the commonality between their call and that of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam let's take a quick look at this because some of the people claim for example they make statements when they are defending people like Imran Hussein who has so many mukhalifat so many ways in which he differs with the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if a person can't see this then I fear for that person's Islam I fear for that person's Islam because you don't know where that person will lead you. What kind of innovations and evil distortions of this beautiful religion of Islam that they will take you away. And let's just take a look at this analysis. Let's analyze this really quickly of what am I saying? Am I saying something, I'm speaking from my desires or am I speaking from the from knowledge? Ayyul Habba, listen to this. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam began his call with Tawheed. For 13 years. And all the prophets alayhim salatu wasalam, called to Tawheed, called to the oneness of Allah, worshiping Allah alone. And Allah says in this regard, We've sent to every messenger, every nation a messenger, to worship Allah alone and avoid those things, worship besides Allah. Didn't the Prophet wasalam, call the Quraysh to Tawheed? Didn't he alayhi salatu wasalam, endure the harm of doing so? Didn't he, alayhi salatu wasalam, have to separate from his own tribe and his own family members because they wanted him to compromise that da'wah? And if you study the seerah of the Prophet sallallahu wasalam, you'll see yes. You'll say yes, this is the case. The Prophet sallallahu wasalam warned against the people of shirk and disbelief and he warned against people falling into bid'ah. How do we know this? We can read the seerah and the Prophet said, Whoever innovates in this religion, or this affair of ours, will have it rejected. Letting us know the Prophet called the people to avoid religious innovation. Do not the Salafis and Ahl Sunnah make the first point of their da'wah to call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Tawheed. I think we can all agree upon that. Ayyul Habba. And do not the, the people who follow the minhaj of the salaf of this ummah, warn against bid'ah, warn against shirk, warn against kufr and disbelief. Ayyul Habba, I think we can agree that the answer is yes. That there's an, there's, so there's a, an agreeance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's not about dividing. The point is not to divide the ummah. The point is to unite the ummah on the right call. To unite, to unite the ummah, Allah says. What does Allah say? And this is the minhaj of the salaf. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And hold all of you, all of you together to the rope of Allah and do not divide. And the rope of Allah is kitab wa sunnah. Ayyul Habba does not the Salafi Dawah claim and strive eh, what, what you see. Salafis claim this, but you have to look at each individual to know whether they're really upon this. But do not, don't they call to the Kitab wa Sunnah? Isn't that their, 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 their Dawah? Don't they shun religious innovation just like the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam shunned it? Didn't the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam give us a prescription? Alaykum bi Sunnati wa Sunnati al Khulafa Rashidin al Mahdiin. It's upon you, my sunnah, and the sunnah of the rightly guided uh, khalifat, Abu Bakr, wa Umar, wa Uthman, wa Ali, radiallahu ta'ala'an, ajma'een. Don't the salaf of this ummah, and don't the salafis of today, call to this, and say, adhere to the minhaj of the salaf, the way of the salaf understanding, and you'll have to agree yes. You'll have to agree yes, ayyul habba. And did not the sahabat al rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiallahu ta'ala'an, ajma'een, didn't they take and understand the text literally first and foremost? Unless there was other evidence to support otherwise? And you'll have to, when you look at 
ayats and hadith, you'll have to agree yes. For example, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fee kitab in Kareem, in Surah Al Baqarah, I believe it's Surah Al Baqarah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about fasting that the white thread, the khiyat al abiyath, min khiyat al aswad, that to discern the white thread from the black thread. Didn't the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anu majma'een first and foremost believe that it was literally a thread? One of the Sahaba, one of the, a, a Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anu, he thought it was a thread until he took it to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to understand it was the, the night and the day. It was in reference to the night and the day. Letting us know the minhaj of the salaf first and foremost is going to the thahir, going to the apparent meaning of the text. Then, if there's evidence to support otherwise, then we look to the other wisdoms and we look to the other reasons and we look to the uh, we look to see if it, it has a more metaphorical meaning or, or what have you. Ayyul Habba have a minhaj of salaf. That's the way of our success. And do not the Salafis, are they not attacked for this very claim because they take things literally? Ayyullah Habba, we have to agree yes. So when we hear people like Imran Hussein, may Allah guide us in him, who claim that, who make fun of the minhaj of the Salaf, who make fun of how the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in understood the text, yes, we, we take those hadith literally about the Akhirah. Yes, we take those, we take all the, 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 the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalams and, and the ayat as literal unless there's evidence to support otherwise. Unless there's dalil, evidence from Kitab Allah wa Sunnah al Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the minhaj of the Salaf to support other than that. Ayyul Habba, if you want success in this life as well as the hereafter, then follow the madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah. Don't follow me, don't follow him, don't follow her, don't follow Shaykh Fulan. But follow the methodology. What did the Prophet ﷺ call to? What did the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een call to and understand from the Messenger of Allah's call? Then, Ayyul Habba, you'll have success. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with success in this life as well as the hereafter. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika shadu an la ilaha ilaha an staghfiruhu wa atubu ilayk. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika nusubika wa ana a'lamu staghfiruhu wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.